Hey gypsies, welcome back to my channel. So happy Dollar Tree haul day. It's a Monday and I just left the Dollar Tree in Beckley. I got a bunch of stuff, mainly Halloween, um, but a bunch of goodies nonetheless. Found stuff that I've been looking for, wish list, stuff I didn't know existed and Got a couple repurchases and stuff like that and a review on something and I'm going to do a taste test. So there's a lot going on here. So stay tuned. Um, but first of all, I just want to say while I was in there, I had the pleasure of meeting one of my subscribers. Her name was Cindy and her son, Jeremy. And I was super excited to get to meet her. Hey, Cindy. Um, it was so great to get to meet you today. I'm going to put our picture at the end. Her son, Jeremy, took the picture and yeah, so. I'm going to put that on the end of this video. I'm also going to put it on my community page because it just makes my entire day to get to meet one of my subscribers. And she was so sweet. So just wanted to say that and say hi to Cindy So and Jeremy. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this haul. So don't forget to stay put at the end for the picture. Okay. So number one, I love these. Like I know, I don't know if they have any more versions of these, but these are like the little wooden blocks. They've got the um, jute twine around the top. It looks like they have like a pop bottle lid on them, which I love, but they're like little potion bottles. This one says spells and potions. And this one says witches brew. These are the perfect things to set in your kitchen. I think like I love these so much. So these are definitely going to be going in my kitchen. So grab those. Um, also grabbed, um, let's see here. Hold on. Okay, so I got these right here, and these were the only two that I saw, but this one, the glue had came off. I do have the lid down in here. These right here are fabulous, guys. Like, I hauled a few bottles the other day, which, you know, I said potion bottles, but these right here are even better, especially this one. Like, there's just something awesome about this orange glass right here. I love it. I would not put anything in here that I was going to actually consume, um, but I absolutely love this. I probably won't put anything at all. I don't think this really comes off unless the glue comes off. So this one is just some bats. Um, I love that, like the smoky white background. So I do have, let me sit here. I do have it down in here. The guy, the guy was like, he was trying to get it down in there and then he realized it was the glue, but it has like a little bat slash gargoyle type thing. <laughs> what it looks like to me but anyway how cute it's super easy to glue back come on um so and this was the only one that they had so i had to grab it so those are just super cute i love them okay so i'm just going to continue with this bag we're going to be a little bit all over the place okay um these right here i thought i would get because i am planning on making like some halloween cupcakes with jack with some of those sprinkles some of those cute little um like Halloween um, cupcake holder things that I got. And these are just eyes. And I just thought they looked kind of spooky. So even if you just put eyes on the top of the cup cupcake, I think it's going to look like really creepy and spooky. So I went ahead and grabbed that. So adorable. Okay. And then I found two of these. I've never seen these before. But I kind of think they're kind of a good deal. And I think my hubby will really like these. So th it does say new. Um, I was looking for more because I was literally going to buy at least four of these. But they are like little snack packs. Potted meat. You got to like potted meat. I like potted meat every now and then. I probably like potted meat better than Vienna sausages. But these are really, really cool. So you get... Um, potted meat snack kit with crackers. Um, you get six crackers, one spoon, and a can of potted meat. So I just thought they were super cute. Never saw these before. So I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and grab them. I know my hubs will love them. So yeah. Okay. Here's something. Just let me show. Boro, boro, boro. If you wonder what I, when I say boro, what that means, boring. So yes, boring, but a repurchase and a necessity, right? Um, and then the foam plates are boring, but a necessity as well. So I'm just going to stick those in the back out of my way. Uh, done. Finished with those. Okay. Well, let me grab, let me just get these out the way. Okay. Number one, here's my receipt, guys. And it's 
that's rather long. Um, if you want my fetch referral code, please let me know. I'd be happy to send it to you in the comments or it's in the description box. Either way, scan your receipts, earn you some free gift cards for free Starbucks or whatevs. You know, you can't beat that. You cannot beat free around here, right? Okay, guys. So I found the cute little mats. I don't know. These are the only two that I found, but I'm happy to find these. So first of all, I got the trick or treat. I'll probably give these away to like Josh and Hallie or Fifi, uh, maybe one each um, because I got that nice little uh, one in the Dollar Tree Plus section. So I may give that these away. And then this one right here is probably my favorite. Um, tis the season to be spooky. It has like a haunted castle, which totally reminds me of Scooby-Doo coming on, like the castle, you know, the bats making the noise right before the mu music starts. Totally reminds me of that. And those bats look the same, but I love this one the best, but this one is cute too. So, but just because it's purple, purple is just everything, right? Okay. Let me get those out the way. Okay. They had some adorable little... I, I, let me just say, well, this one don't even have a tag. Okay, the microfiber. Why are they making all the towels in microfiber? I guess it must be cheaper than regular dish towels. It's a bummer uh, because I only buy these to decorate with. Like, that is it. That's all I use these for. Totally. Decoration is it hanging over my kitchen cabinets. It's almost time to take my summer ones off, put my fall ones on, and they won't stay up long until the Halloween ones go up. But this one here says Happy Haunting. I love that it has a black truck with pumpkins in the back. But most of all, I love the fact that there's a ghost in the back. What? You know, just that, that didn't sound nothing like a ghost, did it? I don't even know. Like, but anyway, it says Ghouls, Pumpkins, delivery ghouls pumpkins delivery so like is the ghost like the deliverer of the pumpkins i don't know i love there's a that there's a crow on the back of the truck or it's the front of the truck like an emblem so cute okay there's that i'm gonna save my favorite to last um this is just home is where you hang your broom baby wherever you hang your broom is home so i thought that was super cute the witch the full moon the bats the castle so so cute. This one is absolutely my fave. This is the best. Trick or treating with my nomies. This, the colors in this are fabulous. I don't even know. Look at that. Like they're, they're in a cemetery because this is like basically a cemetery gate, right? Am I right? Um, trick or treating with my nomies. There is, there, there's a, there's a, this one's kind of hid. But he's like a gnome mummy. And then we have like a witch. I think this is a a cat. Okay, a cat, not a wizard. And then this one is just maybe a zombie or Frankenstein because of his hat. Okay. Anyway, how cute are these? Like, those are the cutest ever. Okay. And I got a couple skeletons um, just because I like, I, liked, I like skeletons. And I think they're really cool, especially if they're things that don't really exist, like the unicorn skeleton I had that day. Well, I got the mermaid skeleton today, which I absolutely love. Um, one of the things I love about this mermaid, it reminds me of like the Chinese mermaid. And when we used to go like uh, to the beach, we would always go to this museum or no, it was actually at a zoo and they had like a skeleton of a Chinese mermaid and you know, they don't exist. I guess not, but like the kids were always absolutely wild about the Chinese mermaid. And this just reminds me of like a Chinese mermaid. Like it's just so cool. And it just brings back fun memories. So I think I gave the last one I got last year to my son, Josh, um, because, because of the Chinese mermaid thing, he's, he was a little crazy when he saw it. So there's that one. And then I just thought this was rather cool just to sit on like a pile of books or something. It just looks like something that you might see in the Adams family house or something. It's like, um, I guess a gecko or something. I don't even know. Like my husband hates that gecko commercial. So I'm going to tell him this is that gecko Geico, right? Okay. Anyway, there's that. Um, I'm so hungry. I'm going to do this taste test. I am so hungry. Okay. So this is, I'll probably regret this. This is ghost pepper, guys. Ghost pepper flavored um, hers potato chips. They're the ruffles 
they're gluten free like if anybody out there is gluten intolerant so i'm gonna do a taste test just because i'm so hungry i just feel like i need something fast all right i don't know if i've done a taste test on these before ghost pepper i'm just gonna sit here and eat the whole bag not really Mmm. Not too hot yet. No, I mean, once it hits the throat, my friends, is when it really gets a little out of hand. I think it's going to be good, though. Okay. I do have a water in here. He's like, you want me to bag it up? I'm like, yeah. Because I needed it. He the 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 cashier even said that he had, he's been seeing my YouTube videos, so I felt really special up in um, Dollar Tree today. It was fun. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. So there's that. Let me put that over. How and wait a minute. Here's something really weird. <gasps> okay, this is weird. I did not buy this. I 100% did not buy Tidy Bowl. Okay? Okay? Um, this is weird. He probably got, the, there was a lady behind me that had a bunch of stuff. I don't know if this was hers or what, but it's so weird that this is in my bag. I did not add this to my bag or my cart. Okay, so we have Tidy Bowl. I don't even care. I'll use it. But like, I don't know the poor lady probably going to get home and ain't going to have her tidy bowl. Um, I got another one of these. I already had one um, and I've been using it on Jack's hair because when like whenever I wash her hair, I always condition it because it's getting really long. I mean, really, I'm trying to get her to, to want a haircut. Um, but this is the Rooted Rituals Ginger Root and Aloe Silicone Free Conditioner Safe for Color Treated Hair. So not only can I use it, but works great on her hair and let me just say it smells amazing so if you guys see this give it a whirl it works really really good this is a review it works really really good and it smells amazing i absolutely love it so this right here is a good deal and i was glad that they still had some so yes and then here's the re other review that i was talking about my son which if you guys remember on my last haul I did a chocolate, a vanilla, and a strawberry, one of these. Um, this is from Shamrock. Shamrock Farms, established in 1922, 2% reduced fat chocolate milk. My son said that this is the best chocolate milk that he's ever had in his life. So that's saying a lot. Um, so he's like, please, if you see any more, grab some. I want dad to try one. So I got two. Um, yeah, so they can try those. But anyway, that's a review for that, for sure. He said it was the best he's ever had in his life. So, okay. Um, let me see here. Let me get over here. I got stuff, guys. Um, I'm trying to keep stuff together that kind of belongs together. All right, let me show you guys these, which I absolutely fell in love with. So these are the little, what are they calling these? Um, LED or no, light up wooden lanterns. These are fabulous. I got some a while back that sort of look kind of boho-ish and um, like that, you know, they weren't painted or anything. They were just like raw wood or whatever you, unfinished wood, whatever you call that stuff. Um, but these are painted and they are so cute. They are not only painted one color, they each have at least two colors on there. So we have this orange one with this little white ghost, which I absolutely love these. I'm thinking, I don't even know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I love these. And then we have the black cat, which is my favorite because why? It has the yellow moon and you guys know I love anything with a moon on it. So boom. That's my fave. This one right here is awesome too because I love anything with a witch on it and anything purple. So this is kind of a plus. And that witch, man, she is some slender. She's like slender witch, right? 
Slender Witch. Okay. <laughs> They're so cute, though. I love them. I love these so much. So, yes. Something else cool. Okay. Then I got these three signs, which I always love their signs. Like, they're just so cute just to sit around. Bookshelves, kitchen counters, you know, wherevs. Like, they're just so cute. This one here has a moon. Um, have a spectacular Halloween. So cute. You can hang them up on the wall. Whatevs. So adorable. And then this one, uh, tis the season to be spooky. <laughs> love them. And this one, Spider Venom, Highly Toxic. So, to me, it looks like it should be a Black Widow. But that if it only had the red, which you could paint that with some nail polish on there. Make it a Black Widow. I think that would be kind of cool. I might do that. But anyway, love that. So cute. And then I always love these books, these faux books, you know. Uh, put anything you want in. I've got bracelets in one that I've gotten in the years past and stuff. Like, I use these a lot. I love to use these, like, in my background, like, my videoing area, like, where I have books. Like, just to slip one of these, like, right in the middle. This one says Halloween Haunts. They had several different ones, but really, right now, I don't have any place to put all of them. I did take some pictures, I believe. I will be putting pictures over on Instagram, um, and, and if you follow me on Instagram, Instagram and TikTok. If you don't, it's Twisted Gypsy 32. I post a lot of stuff that I buy. Plus, I post a lot of like personal stuff, like stuff that you don't normally see in my YouTube videos, family pictures and stuff like that. They're all over on TikTok and uh, mainly Instagram. Instagram is like it. So Twisted Gypsy 32, go check me out over there. Um, but I love this one because I don't, I just love the looks of the big spider. And this one, I was going to say this one is a Black Widow, but I don't think it is. Like, it's not an hourglass sign anyway. Okay, and then speaking of spiders, I got this bad boy. Look at this. It, it's the um, iridescent looking. Somebody said oil slick. So, um, I love it. I absolutely love it. How cool is this? Like, I don't even know. Like this on a shelf with like this laying there. Like, how cool. I just love it. I don't know. Um, it just has great colors. They had a couple of different ones, I think. But this one is just so bright and vibrant and just the colors pop. It's great. Like, I, I love it. Like, it's so cool. Like, I think this would be so cool, like, in some of that, um, the spider web stuff that you get and put this bad boy like right in the middle he's just so big and in the color pops he's just cool okay guys so i found something that i'm gonna do another taste test just because um it's the worthers they got the worthers fall candies out so i got one of each bag i haven't been buying worthers in a long time my hubby was hooked on them for so long and then he's like i can't handle any more worthers so I quit buying them, but when he sees these, hopefully he won't get hooked on them again. Um, so they have this one right here, which is pumpkin spice, which I remember. Um, these are so good. So pumpkin spice Worthers. These are the Harvest Caramels. That's what all, this is the Harvest Caramel Collection. So they have this one. These are the soft, chewy ones. So we have that one there, pumpkin spice and everything nice. This one here, car caramel apple caramel apple i don't know whatever uh caramel apple they feel so fresh guys like you can definitely tell they're this year's this is the one i've never seen but i definitely want to try this one is the maple cream yes i'm gonna try this right now just to see like i've got to see how this is plus i feel like my sugar is dropping and i really need a little something something the chip hasn't cut it yet all right, so that's so good. Mmm. Mmm. The rest of that bag may not make it home. Just saying. Just being truthful, guys, okay? It's good. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, let me pause. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get that down. Okay. 
Look at this pack of cookies. Lemon cream. They had vanilla. That's all I saw was vanilla and lemon cream. Look at this pack of cookies. This pack is absolutely huge. I've never seen a pack of cookies this big. It is um, 25 ounces. Does it say how many cookies are in here? Like three cookies per serving. How many servings are in this bad boy? Don't make me do math. 20. So that means there's 60 cookies in here. OMG. Wow. 60 cookies up in here. Lemon cream. Oh my gosh. Like I love lemon. So yeah. Um, just grabbed another pack of my fave watermelon gum. I like to chew that at night and blow bubbles. I don't know. It's just how I love to do things, you know? <laughs> okay. And then I got this because we are almost, we're like less than 20 away from 19K. So we're going to be doing a giveaway and my winner is going to win one of my t-shirts on my page my merch page and also i'm going to be giving away another planner because there's no way i can use all the planners i got so i'm going to be giving away the planner as well so there's going to be one winner they will win the t-shirt and the planner both so if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button now hit the bell button so you'll be notified whenever i open up the 19k giveaway so yeah, I just want to do that and then hopefully get to 20K soon so we can do the magnificent beauty giveaways, two winners, super excited, name brand stuff that I've been finding at Dollar Tree and it's just amazing, like all the stuff. This is going to be so much fun. But anyway, yeah, I had to get that because I needed it to mail out the planner to the winner. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what your favorite item was. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm really leaning on this towel right here. I just think it's great, but I don't know. I don't, the bottle, I don't know. They're all great. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, bye.